What is going on, everybody? Dan on Felter checking out boundaries, burying brightness, which it's one of those rare occasions where flipping the names, it might be better. A band called Burying Brightness? That's kind of a fucking good band name. <laughs> it kind of is. Let's check this out. Boundaries. This comes from Joel. Appreciate you, homie. If you guys have any requests, there should be there should be something to click. I always say should. You sometimes, you know, your boy, you know, gets stoned or forgets. Cheers, by the way. And this thumbnail alone. Kind of creepy. Like, what is she looking at? Let's go. Oh, yo, he's into this. You see, he's a... Yo. First of all, being in that small of a room and they, the whole band is just cranking it in there? The chorus hits, he's got to climb it. He feels the need to climb the, the drum kit and scream into the wall. Let's go. That's my kind of people. Key, <laughs> low key, well written lyrics too. I don't know why. I don't know how to say goodbye. Fresh when I was blind, but again when I was dead. Locked as a way of reminding you to lock into a dash. What do I even smell? First when I was five, and then when I was ten. It's blowing your belt. That burying brightness 
definitely definitely fits the song title. It definitely does. Cause that was. I'm, try, I'm trying to think of another. It might just be this. It was. It was one of the saddest, heavy songs I've ever heard. Like every every drop they did, it hit hard. I love the the depth and the deepness of the sound of the bass. So I want to like fucking go off and you know get into it but then you, you listen to the lyrics again and it's like ouch that's tough that's a fucking sad song <laughs> that's sad but really good it's just always per it's kind of like a I won't say perplexing but kind of to where it, I, I kind of want to jam out to it because musically, it, it it wants you to. But at the same time, the lyrics are like, fuck. I kind of want to sit and listen to it. You know? <laughs> so it's, I'm kind of like torn. I'm torn. While this, uh, halfway through, I kept like, I could feel a drop coming. I wanted to like fucking go ape shit. But at the same time, I was like. Those lyrics are rough. Those are rough. Those are rough. But a goddamn good song overall. <laughs> the main thing is I didn't expect the writing to be that good. Nicely done. Again, I say it many times. The most underappreciated part of all music is the actual writing. Same with movies. I think art in general. Writing has kind of like lost value when it... Oh, it's going to piss me off. Maybe it's because I used to want to be a writer. But it, it pisses me off. Boundaries. Burying brightness. Let's fucking go. Based on the lyrics, though, you actually still could, you still could have switched the title and the band name. And it still work. Still could. Based on how the song went, I could see the song being called Boundaries. And damn sure the, the band being called Burying Brightness because damn. There wasn't a lot of light in this one. That was harsh. Joel, appreciate it, homie. Fire fucking song. I would like to hear a boundary song that's less emotional. If they if they have any, I don't know, but because that one that one was heavy, and not just in terms of sound, but like an tour in terms of emotional weight. That was a heavy song. You are a real one. Let's fucking go. And again, let's let's bring back good writing to music and movies. Fuck. I would say books, but I don't read books anymore. I'm an adult. Adults apparently don't read. Welcome to 2023.